Hello and welcome to the Nerdy Things with Brendan channel. Today I have another Where to Start Reading video for you. Today we have a highly requested character, Venom. If it's your first time watching, I greatly appreciate you coming here. You can check out the Where to Start Reading playlist here. I have dozens of characters and even more planned. And it basically just gives you a character's comic book history and all the books to read from start to finish and gets you caught up to now. Long-time fans will know that at one point we switched channels and we lost a lot of subscribers and a lot of views, but we're building that back up and I really appreciate the support. But, this is episode 50, so it's a big one, so I wanted to give you a big character you guys really wanted to see, Venom, so here you are. I really appreciate all the support, please subscribe, please like, share with a friend, it all really helps. Before we truly get into the video, just a little disclaimer, I always put these in chronological order to get you caught up with the oldest stuff the character has and get you all the way to now. Um, but there are some books that overlap a little bit, some books where half of the book takes place and then an event happens and then the second half of that book happens after the event. Um, so it's really just my way of saying I tried my best but it was quite tricky. Venom's got a lot of books. The first book you want to check out is Venom Dark Origin. Now typically the first book in a list is a really older story, but this is actually a modern retelling of Venom's origin, published sometime around 2010. You then want to check out Spider-Man Birth of Venom. Now this one will be an older one, so you will get the original first appearance of Venom. You'll see the symbiote's transition from Peter Park to Eddie Brock. Eddie's uh, transformation into the villain Venom, and his first kind of encounters and conflicts with Spider-Man. You then want to check out the paperback Spider-Man Venom Returns. It's at this point we get into a new era of Venom. He is no longer strictly just a Spider-Man villain, but he is becoming an anti-hero. The next series of books can be collected either as an omnibus or the individual paperbacks. The Omnibus is probably the best route, it could even be the cheaper route, um, but some people don't like how bulky they are, some are harder to come by, uh, they take up a lot of room on a shelf, some people like that you can sit down with the paperback and it's smaller, you can read it in one afternoon. Um, so either way you want to go, I have options for you. So if you decided to go the Omnibus route, you want to check out Venom Omnibus Volume 1. Now you get many Venom stories in here. There's Venom Lethal Protector, Venom Funeral Pyre, there's some Daredevil stuff, Iron Man, Dark Hawk, uh, Incredible Hulk vs. Venom, Venom the Mace, uh, some more Nightwatch stuff, and Venom Knights of Vengeance, a bunch of Spider-Man stuff, and countless other stories. So it really gives you a full spectrum of Venom's earlier days as an anti-hero. You'll see a used version of this Omnibus costs about $89. That's pretty fair, and a new version about $96. It's quite on par with other Omnibuses. The next book to check out is Venom Omnibus Volume 2. You get a lot of Venom's earlier stuff in this one. You get stories like Venom Sinner Takes All, Venom Along Came a Spider, Venom the Hunted, Venom the Hunger, Tooth and Claw, Venom on Trial, License to Kill, Seed of Darkness, Sign of the Boss, a bunch of Spider-Man stuff, Venom the Finale, and then even more Spider-Man stuff. You'll see a used version of this Omnibus can set you back $215, and they don't even have a new version available, so this can be a little trickier to find. You then want to check out Venom Omnibus Volume 3. A used one of this will cost you about $103, that's a pretty fair price, and a new version, almost $200. Not the worst for an Omnibus, I've seen them as high as $600, $800, it really just depends what's still in print and being published. Um, so pretty fair for you, but this one will give you some Spider-Man stuff, some Nova stuff, even more Spider-Man stuff, the Venom 2003 series. Venom vs. Carnage, some Marvel Knights Spider-Man stuff, and then some Spider-Man Fantastic Four material. So now if you went the Omnibus route, that's all the Omnibuses currently in print. Um, it gets you through a fair amount of Venom stuff. 
If you don't want to go the omnibus route though, I have options for you. You can go with the individual graphic novels I'm about to name, and you'll get most of the stories contained in the omnibuses. However, you will lose a couple stories. So the first graphic novel you want to check out is Venom, Lethal Protector. This is Venom's first solo series and his first outing as an anti-hero. You then want to check out the book Venom, The Enemy Within. This one's a little bit more expensive, a used version about 46 and a new version about 100. So if you want to pick up a digital copy, it might be the best way to go. The next book to check out is Spider-Man Vengeance of Venom. You're going to get a lot of Spider-Man stuff in this one, but you'll also get that Trial of Venom story. You then want to check out the Spider-Man event, Spider-Man Maximum Carnage. You then want to check out Venom Separation Anxiety. This book will give you Venom the Mace, Venom Knights of Vengeance, some Web of Spider-Man stuff, other Spider-Man stuff, and you get the classic Venom Separation Anxiety story. Now for fans of the first Venom movie, Separation Anxiety is basically the blueprint for the Venom movie. The Venom movie removed some elements, changed some a little bit, but for the most part it adapted that story. Lastly, you want to check out Venom Carnage Unleashed. And after this story, you're all caught up with Omnibus number one. So all those stories I just named are found in Omnibus number one, and now we're getting into Omnibus number two stuff. So next you want to check out Venom Along Came a Spider. This one collects classic Venom stories such as Venom Along Came a Spider, Venom the Hunted, and Venom the Hunger, as well as a bunch of Spider-Man stuff. Next comes the book Venom Tooth and Claw. This one will give you Venom, Tooth and Claw, Venom on Trial, Venom License to Kill, Venom Seed of Darkness, Venom Sign of the Boss, and Spider-Man the Venom Agenda, as well as Venom the Finale. That will then get you caught up to Omnibus number two. You're gonna lose a few stories here and there, but for the most part, you can get everything in that Omnibus number two. The next thing to check out is Venom 2003 by Daniel Way. This was originally published in three volumes, Shiver, Run, and Twist, but since then has been collected in an ultimate collection that collects all three volumes. And if you look at the prices, they really even out. So it's up to you which way you wanna go here. You then want to check out Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 1, The Hunger. This is the 2003 Spectacular Spider-Man series. You'll see a used version of this will cost you about $83. So you might want to go to the digital route on this one as well. You then want to check out the book Spider-Man Venom vs. Carnage. You then want to check out the book Marvel Knights Spider-Man Volume 2 Venomous. That will then get you caught up with Omnibus number 3. You then want to check out the Civil War event. Now, I don't remember specifically if Venom's in this, but it really does affect most of the events that come after this, so it's worth checking out. Next is Spider-Man Back in Black. Now, the cover on this is a little deceiving. You see Spider-Man in a black suit. Most people would think it's a symbiote suit once again, but it's actually a cloth suit. So, it's really not Venom in this book. But, Eddie does make an appearance, so it's worth checking out. Next comes Spider-Man New Ways to Die, and I really can't do the rest of the video without a slight spoiler, but to be honest, this book came out almost 10 years ago now, so it feels like it's not very spoilery. But, Eddie Brock gets rid of the Venom symbiote and now becomes Anti-Venom. Next comes Spider-Man Anti-Venom, followed by Spider-Man The Spider Island Event, then want to check out Spider-Man, The Return of Anti-Venom, and then Venom Savage 6. Now this is not Eddie Brock Venom, but actually Flash Thompson Venom, but Eddie still makes an appearance. Then check out Venom, Toxin with a Vengeance. We then got a Venom reboot series that took Venom back to his roots, so we once again had Eddie Brock as Venom, so check out Venom, Volume 1, Homecoming. Next is Venom Volume 2, The Land Before Crime. It was after this book they added the subtitle Lethal Protector to the series. So check out Venom Volume 3, Lethal Protector, Blood in the Water. Then check out Amazing Spider-Man, Venom Inc. Next, check out Edge of the Venomverse, followed by the book Venomverse. Then check out the book X-Men and Venom, Poison X. Now this one's a crossover event, and it's not super vital to the understanding of Venom. However, it does spin out of the events of Venomverse and is kind of a follow-up for that, so if you want the full picture, I'd check it out. 
Next is the book, Venomized. Next comes Volume 4 from Mike Costa. Venom, Volume 4, The Nativity. They did lose the Lethal Protector subtitle now, but it's still the same series. We then got a new Venom series written by Donny Cates, so check out Venom, Volume 1, Rex. Then comes Venom, Volume 2, The Abyss, followed by Venom, War of the Realms. This is a tie-in event for the War of the Realms event. You really don't have to read the main event, War of the Realms. Venom's not in it much. I'd really just check out this uh, tie-in he's in. Then comes Venom Unleashed, Volume 1. Next, check out the Absolute Carnage event. We then get back to the series by Donny Cates, so check out Venom, Volume 3, Absolute Carnage. This is a tie-in event to the last book. Then comes Venom, Volume 4, Venom Island. Venom, Volume 5, Venom Beyond. Then comes the King in Black event, which has major repercussions for Venom and is really a must. We then get the end of Donny Cates' run on Venom with Venom Volume 6, King in Black. We then got another Venom series, so check out Venom Volume 1, Recursion. Next is Venom Volume 2, Deviation. Then comes Venom Volume 3, Dark Web. And at the timing of this video, it's not quite out, but by the time this video is published on YouTube, it will be out. And now you can pre-order Venom Volume 4 Illumination, which comes out September 2023, and that'll get you all caught up. That will then conclude the reading list, so thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support, guys. This is episode 50, like I said at the beginning. It's been quite a journey, and I really appreciate all the support. Please subscribe to the channel for more lists like this. I have more videos planned, more characters, and I'm always open to requests. So I have my Instagram here. Feel free to message me. I'm always happy to talk with you guys. It's been a wonderful experience so far talking to a couple of you who have reached out. But I'm open to requests, questions, comments, whatever. You can also leave them down in the comments if you want. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.